What's going on, my motherfucking dippers? Dip new back in. I just recorded a video. Just recorded a video, and it was out of focus. Don't you fucking hate that? Get a little bit too high. Let me get you right there. Alrighty, uh, right there. Alright, so you guys are out of focus, so I got pissed. So I'm remaking the video. Uh, did it just fall again? Where the fuck did it go? Oh, there it is. Today we got. I'm not even gonna show you guys the can yet. I'll review it here in a second. Something really good though. Um, drink some lemon lime soda. Got speed again. Okay, so some news real fast before I make the review. Um, Jaja Boys. Uh, just releasing new music music video. I'm not dipping my lip. But something else I haven't got a chance to look at or listen to it. But I saw it. Outlaw posted it and they posted it on Facebook. So go check them out. YouTube.com slash Georgia Boys. Check them the new song. Or might not, not, might not be new. But you know, music video. I think it's a new song now. Um... Right now, if you're watching this, go to mudjug.com. This is for only for Black Friday. Go buy a mud jug, put in the coupon code TURKEY, get 25% off. But you guys are probably watching this tomorrow, and then you're going to be like, fuck, if you didn't already see it on you, on Facebook. Because Darcy posted about it, and I think Outlaw posted about it. And, uh, Low in the Dark. A uh, white zombie mudge is back. It sold out so fast that Darcy brought them back. I think there's, I think he brought back 100 or 150, something like that. But they're back. So if you really like that mudge, go go snag it right now. It's probably going to sell it just like the, as fast as it did. Mm. We got, I think, 10 or 9 more subscribers to go. Nine more subscribers, guys. So I'll make a voting video once we reach 45 again. You guys watch it, you make your vote. And I get, oh, I haven't had a dip all day. I've been out of the dip all fucking days. So I just got a little, little head change real fast. Which isn't very, which is weird because I never got head changes. And it kind of felt awesome. So. I guess we'll, we'll do a review real fast. Today, we got some straight. Can you guess what type of straight? Okay, alright, hold on. Maybe. Can you guys guess what type of straight that is? I think you can. It's Copenhagen straight. Copenhagen straight. This is a really good fucking dip. Like, I didn't know. Like, the smell. The smell. It's it's really strong. It was it was an overbearing smell. Like it was just like whoa fuck. I feel like my nostrils just got burned a little bit. You know when you spray axe in the air and then you use a lighter and then you get that pungent smell, kind of like that. I mean it's not like that and it doesn't smell like that no. Yeah, with how it burns your nostrils, it burned my nostrils the first time because it was so strong. I wasn't expecting that. Because I had never had this before. Uh, the can design looks cool as fuck. I like the shade of red that they used. And you know, it's just a normal, like, wintergreen type of look. But with straight and red. And it just looks awesome with the gold band. And then the shade of red on the side with Copenhagen straight. Copenhagen long cut. Straight up on the top. It's a really good dip, guys. Um, the smell is a little overpowering. And the can just looks good. So, I'm going to give the smell a 4 out of 5 because it was so strong. And then I'm going to give the can a 5 out of 5. Because this can, I mean, let's face it. Most dip cans just look sexy and this looks sexy. Alright. Alright. And, uh. Smell paint. 
By the way, I got another 2012 can, March 18th, 2012. So this stuff is like fresh as fuck. It was glistening in the in the light. It just looked awesome. And um, this is really is like I got another 2012 can, so it's really moist and it packs real good and it paints just really good. Like, let me show you real fast. Look at that. There's a little bit of spillage there, but it packed real nice. And then it just pinches great. Like, let's see. That's good. Look at that. Pinches great. Kind of looks like a little bit like Stoker's with the cut. I think I cut a little bit long for this. But it, it pinches great and it packs great, so I'm going to give those both a 5 out of 5. It's great. And uh, taste. Um, you guys know I love straight. Straight was my favorite dip when I first started dipping. And uh, I, I dipped Grizzly straight. And in my Grizzly straight video, I said that it's an overpowering taste. But it, it went with it. I realized after I got done, with that, got done with that can that the taste was too overpowering. I didn't really like it as much as I did. And this stuff is just a nice, mellow straight. Grizzly straight, after, after I got done with the video and I got done with that can, I really wanted to change my decision on that. I want, I want, Grizzly straight's an 8 out of 10 for me now. But this stuff, this shit is a 9, 9, 9 and a half out of 10. Because Longhorn and Grizzly and all other straights really overdo the taste. For straight, it's easily... It's easy to overdo the taste of straight. And it sucks because you get like long one straight, a body can of long one straight for like 250. God damn. It was just fucking, oh fuck, it was bad. I didn't like it. But you know, I did it because I bought it. But this stuff, this shit right here, this shit right here, nigga, this shit right here, this shit is called Krypton Cut a lot, nigga. <laughs> Fucking cat volumes. This shit here, guys, it is a, uh, it's a nice, mellow, straight taste. You guys know that I love, fl I love flavor, but I also like to have a nice tobacco kind of taste to it, which is why I love chew so much. I never buy it because it's always so damn expensive. But I love chew. So, this shit... It, it's got that tobacco taste. You know what I'm talking about? Like a nice, smooth tobacco taste. And it's got that flavor. I love flavor. And then I love flavor when it first hits. And then it mellows out. That's what I like. And this shit does that right there. First put it in, I was like, damn, this is a strong taste. And then it just mellowed out. So if you guys like straight, and you like the tobacco taste with it, get you some Copenhagen straight. I really recommend it. It's a really good dip. This is the first time I've had it. And I've, it, this is a damn good dip. I got it for like three fifty six because I live over Van Buren now and dip so much cheaper. Like it's it's amazing how much tobacco prices range from over a bridge. Cause over here, right by right by Fort Smith and Van Buren, Arkansas River runs straight through it. So we got a bridge connecting Fort Smith and Van Buren. And right across that bridge, like I guess when you hit halfway, tobacco prices go up. Because tobacco prices over there compared to here, fucking can of Copenhagen straight is usually like five bucks. But over here, it's only three. So who knows? I guess they tax tobacco more over Fort Smith. But at, for three fifty six, it's a really good deal. It's a good dip. And uh, that's about all, guys. I really recommend trying this dip if you've never had it. I like it. So, uh, I guess that's all. Go check out Jaja Boys. Um, you know, subscribe to, uh, Chaydub. Uh, Chaydub. Caden Tiger 616 Outlaw Dipper. He just posted a, a mind blown video on his Live the Thrill TV channel. Oh my god. It was mind blowing. He did the speech. It was really nice. I liked it. It, it fucking blew my mind. He's a damn good actor. And, um, I guess about all, guys, you know, subscribe to Caden Liger, uh, Copenhagen Grizzly Outlaw, Grizz Grin Girl, 
Mug Joe One, Cheta, all of them guys. And uh, above all, subscribe to me because we got 41 subscribers, so nine more to go. And a full can will go in the lip. And uh, I guess that's all, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Keep dipping, keep spitting. It's a way of motherfucking life. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Well, not peace. I'll fucking talk to you guys later. Later, guys.